what's going on guys it is the phantom michael and i was at walmart today you know it's pretty close to the holidays i wanted to check out this mystery power cube that has pokemon i know they make a Yu-Gi-Oh one i actually picked the Yu-Gi-Oh one as a christmas present for someone so but i seen this one um i scooped it up wanted to check it out so we're gonna do it like a quick little unboxing video i guess you would call it um my webcam i have a pretty decent webcam um but unfortunately, it, how I have it set up right now, I don't have a bigger stand for this. So I'll give you guys a quick little little view really quick of everything. So there's a nice little crisp shot for you right here. Um, yeah, you know, you can see that Shining Noctowl. Obviously, that Pikachu right there, the birthday one of Shining Charizard. Um, you know, just kind of your serial numbers right there. Uh, your OG Mons right there, you know, Blast Toys. Venusaur, Charizard. It says it comes with 60 commons, three foils, uh, or two foils, and a EX GX special card. So we'll see what that's about on this side. You know, you got your Mew, your Dark Charizard, and a Zapdos. Let me fix that focus for you guys so you guys can see that. All right, so we're gonna open her up. Excuse the uh, the loud noises outside. I don't know if that'll affect the video or not gonna try to kind of talk through this so we're gonna tear open this sucker up really quickly um got a very poor quality but it'll look better once i get the cards out um because i don't really have an unboxing setup really you know so i'm just gonna do that real quick and this is just kind of for you guys so if you guys are out maybe christmas shopping for somebody so you guys kind of get an idea of what's inside of it um tearing this off so this is luckily the mowers outside and all right sorry guys i had to cut the video really quick the mowing got pretty bad um just wanted to show you guys that uh, we took the plastic off um so yeah let's go ahead and we're gonna set this right here we're gonna gently lift this up kind of see what's inside of here Okay, so as you can see right here, there's a, there's a top loader right here for your rare cards, I guess. Um, so there you go, you get one of these in the package. You got 30 cards here, 30 cards here, it looks like. We're gonna pull this one that's on our left first. We're gonna check these out to kind of get an idea of what you guys get if you guys are interested in getting some presents for some people who are into Pokemon. So up first we have a Krikatot. A Skrilp, a Star U, a Scorpy, a Petalil, a Froakie, a Chikorita. Now this is that really. Um, I remember actually seeing a video on this. Um, there's another photo that has Finnegan in it, that has like the city background looking in at Chikorita. So that's really cool. So move on from there. Uh, we got uh, Clefairy. That is another crazy little background right there, guys. You literally have a Hypno back here that is terrorizing this little Clefairy. That is terrible. I'm sorry, Clefairy. Um, up next, it, we do have a Shelter right here. Um, we also have a Growlithe. I love that artwork for Growlithe for some reason. A Shelter looks like it's stranded out on a dry beach, it looks like. And then we got a Psyduck. Look at that background for Psyduck. That's so majestic. We got an old print of a Ponyta right there. We got an old print of a level 45 Arcanine, which looks absolutely awesome. Um, but it's not it's not your OG print because it has the ability and stuff like that. Um, Scorching Breath 150, yo. Dang. I don't, I don't play competitive Pokemon, but geez. Uh, we got two Electric Energies. We got a Bianca. We got a Superior Energy Retrieval. Uh, we got a Watchdog right here. A slow bro with a uh, spiral shell, and that has to be some Alolan uh, executors up there. Trying to go after a tomato berry, it looks like. That's pretty cool. A little cartoony Pan Chan hanging out. Uh, one of your clay model Gothitelles, or yeah, it's Goth Gothita. I'm terrible at this this Pokemon. What? This is really odd to me. It seems like every kind of printing of Pokemon has a little bit different. I don't know if this is the newer models. I don't know beats me we got a litwick that's interesting litwick's fire not uh your psychic uh normal fletchling 
We got a Carvana. We got a Whimsicott. We got a Beware, which is really cool looking. And a Lolan Geodude. Freaking love me some Gligar. Love me some Gligar. We got ourselves a Bell Sprout. We got ourselves a Cottony. We got ourselves an Alolan Sandshrew. We got ourselves a Mud Break. And a Gumi. That's interesting. So we didn't get any of the rare cards on this side. So we'll go ahead. Excuse the background. I don't want you guys to be terribly distracted because we're pointing right at my my uh, desktop. So we'll go right there. Place these guys back. Up, up, up. Oh my goodness, we had a, a terrible incident just occur. Okay. Try to reset, fix this. Okay. Okay, so. Um. See our rare cards, they're at the front. Let's put our rares to the back. We'll just do a little, little little shuffle right here so we get to see those a little later. So we'll start off with this Mallow. Look at Mallow right there. That's that's really cool. Um search your deck for two cards, shuffle your deck, then put those cards on top of it in any order. That sounds like this is a pretty good card. I don't know a lot. Oh, we're out of focus. Your focus needs more focus. There we go. Altar of the Moon. An Area Dose. A Bronzor with Tackle. Is that all you got, Bronzor? All you're packing is a Tackle. Well, you're going to be benched. We got a Chansey with 100 HP with Lucky Punch. If you don't have exactly seven cards in your hand, this attack does nothing. Wow. Wow. The nap heals 30 damage from this Pokemon. Times two, though, to fighting type. Interesting. Alolan Geodude. Your Magmar old school print, which is also very cool. Use a flamethrower, then you have to get rid of a fight. That's terrible. Why would you do that? What a terrible Pokemon. A pit of. Look at that top card, and then you may shuffle your... Look at the top card of your deck, then you may shuffle your deck. Does that mean you have to, or is that you have the choice to? I'm not sure. We have a not to. Let's try to refocus this. Shoot. We got a Poliwag, old school print. Looks really interesting. I love it. An Electrode in that really odd, cartoony look that we've seen that Clefairy in from earlier. And a Lumis with the same color scheme. We have an Execute running away from a Spiro right there. Poor guys, looks like they're about to be dinner. We got a Sfeel looking all happy. We got a Wormple. Oh, we got a Torchic. Macargo. I don't know where that could be at. That looks really interesting though, the background. We got a freaking Pikachu. I like me some Pikachus. Up, oh, I see two electric energies right here. Sky Arrow Bridge. Sky Arrow Bridge, which is a stadium card. Ether Paradise Conservation Area. Also interesting. We got a Corsola. Love me some Corsola. We got ourselves a Foro Seed. And then we got, oh, okay. These are our rare cards. We got ourselves a Graveler with a double agent rollout. We got ourselves a Deerling. Find a friend. Interesting. We have ourselves a Helioptile, which is, again, another little reverse hollow. And we have two Electric Energies. So, I guess this is how you can really. Um, Kind of great if this is a present or a gift idea or maybe something that you'd be interested in purchasing. Um, I can't actually, I had to buy a whole bunch of stuff today, so I can't actually remember what the price was. I just remember seeing, I was picking up some gifts, like I said, and I seen it. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. You never know what you're going to get, really. Um, I know that these are your little, to, to explain what set the card is in. So, as you can see, you know, um, I'm not the best. I don't know a lot of set names, but these three come from three different sets so i mean i guess you do get um 
kind of a wide range of different sets placed in with these cards. So, I mean, is it something worth purchasing? Um, entirely up to you. Um, I'm glad it was fun. I don't know if I'll be getting any more of these. Um, so, yeah, and but it was cool. So, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like. Comment down below. Let me know. Um, and with that, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here, and I will see you guys in the next one.